Let's have a look how three key layers can enhance your images. First, we dim the background so that the main subject of your photo gets more attention. Then, we increase the colors and finally sharpen the details. Let's dive in. We're going to start by adding a curves adjustment. The curve we're going to apply will need to make the image darker without losing detail on the shadows and the mid-tones. The idea is just to dim down the brightness. You could also use a brightness and contrast adjustment and lower the brightness if you feel more comfortable using that. The curves adjustment is now being applied to the whole image and not the background. To fix that, we need to mask it. Press the mask button to create a mask. With the mask selected, select the brush tool and make sure the black color is selected. Now we are going to mask out the subject by painting with black over the subject. As you notice, while I'm painting over the subject, the effect of the curves adjustment gets removed. Notice also that I'm using a brush with a 0% hardness which is also known as a soft brush. This will have the effect that our mask will have a soft outline. Also for the areas where you don't want to apply a more transparent mask, you can brush with a lower flow. By lowering the flow of the brush, we get a less stronger brush, but we can still brush multiple times over the same area to make the mask stronger. When I click on the mask while holding the Alt or Option key, Affinity will now only show the mask. Notice the softness I was referring to. Looking at the mask only, I can see the obvious areas I missed and I'll fix that. You can try to make the mask as perfect as possible, but most of the cases, a soft rough mask works quite well for this process. Let's see the effect of our mask. Usually turning on and off the mask a couple of times will help you to see the inconsistencies, but in my case it looks pretty good. Now that we got more attention to our subject, the next step is to add more color to the image. A quick and easy way of doing this is by adding a vibrance adjustment. We can increase the vibrance to around 40% and the saturation around 15%. Usually, a ratio of 3 to 1 between vibrance and saturation works well. But again, this really depends on your image and taste. If you feel like your image already has a lot of color, you can just skip this step. The final step is to add sharpness to the fine details. I'm going to use a high pass filter to create sharpness, but there are definitely other ways to do this. In the high pass filter, I'm going to increase the radius until we begin to see the image. For this image, a radius of 3 pixels looks good. When we now change the blend mode of the high pass filter to overlay, it will act as a sharpen filter. The whole image got sharpened, but we want to sharpen selectively, so as you guessed, we need to add a mask. This time, I will press the Alt or Option key while clicking on the Mask button. This will pop up a menu and I can select Empty Mask. This creates a black mask where the effect is being blocked. Now, with a white brush, we can paint in the areas where we want to have sharpening. Let's not forget to increase the flow of our brush, otherwise we won't see the effect very clearly. Usually, you want sharpening on the eyes and fine details. This will make the image come more alive. It might look it doesn't have an effect, but it definitely does. Now that we have added our three essential layers, let's have a look at the before. Well, that is quite a step back. Let's quickly enable our adjustment again, and that looks pretty awesome. So with these three layers, we were able to put more focus on the subject, make the colors more alive, and boosted the fine details. Here is another image, and I will apply the same steps on this image in super speed. The curves adjustment to darken the background, add some color, and finally the sharpness to the details of the car. Here are two additional tips for you. 
you can selectively enhance colors by using an HSL adjustment. For example, I want to make the leaves in the image more colorful. I can add the HSL adjustment, select the range matching the color of the leaves, and then adjust the saturation and intensity. As this also affected part of the car, I can apply a mask to the HSL adjustment and mask the effect only to the leaves. With the help of the opacity, we can always dim down the effect if needed. As a final tip, you can apply the original image in linear light blend mode if you want a more colorful and contrasty image. Just make sure you dim down the fill percentage and lower the effect on the shadows by using the blend options dialog. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new along the way. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button. Until the next video.